Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings and I'm back with another tutorial for y'all today. You notice I did not say the word fun because they're all fun. That's like understood, right? So a few weeks ago, I got the PDB Creative Studio Art Resin Box in Bloom and there was a product in there that I had seen before. I'd always wanted to try, but it was a little expensive and I wasn't really sure it was gonna work. So I just never thought I would invest the money because I was like, mm, I don't really know about that. Well, the liquid crystal product that I've been eyeing for a, quite a while now was actually included in this box. So I thought, perfect, I could actually get to try it. So I did, it worked beautifully. I was really surprised, honestly, y'all. And I put out a little TikTok and you guys were asking like, hey, how did you do it? Show us, please. So this is just gonna be a quick little tutorial. Y'all, this product is so easy. And it actually is a 12 color change thermochromic properties is what it has. So that's a lot for me to get out y'all. So basically how that translates in my mind is it changes colors with heat or cool and it changes lots of different colors. So it's really cool and it's really fun to work with and it's really easy. Like you basically just brush the coats over a spray painted base. That's what you're gonna see me do. And then I do add a little foils and I added Dixie Dollars transfer and then I just added one coat of epoxy and the cup is finished. And it is so fun. You can hold it in your hand and it changes colors. So that kind of stuff, I don't know if you, if you follow me, you know, I'm all about a color shift or a color change. So I knew when I got this product, I had to try it. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will link all the products that I use in the description box below. So make sure you check out those links as well as I'll include some discount codes for y'all. So make sure you don't miss those. And as I always say, join my Dixie Darlings Tumblr's Facebook group. It's my chance to interact with you guys. That's where I go live several days a week and I hear what it is that will help you. And I try to work on things that will be beneficial for y'all as well. So thank y'all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Hey y'all, so I'm starting with this product from PDB Creative Studio and it's called Liquid Crystal. It's a 12 color change thermochromic liquid. It is super cool. It comes in this small container. And like I said, I got this in their art resin box. And so I decided I wanted to try it. So I'm actually taking a 17 ounce all-in-one curve from Craft Haven and I've spray painted it black. So I sanded it down with my 60 grit sanding block, spray painted it matte Rust-Oleum 2X black. That's all I did to it. And now I'm just taking this liquid crystal and I'm just going to paint a coat on. So I, you can see that once you start painting this on, it does want to kind of clump up in areas. So I took a pretty soft, just a paintbrush and just decided I was just gonna paint it on. Now you're gonna have to do several coats of this. And so I actually don't record all the coats, but I end up doing four coats and I do pretty thin coats and you need to let it dry fairly well in between coats. Now I will tell you in this little container, I used probably three quarters of the container. I did not use all of it, but I did use about three quarters of a container. You're going to see as you continue to, to layer coats of this on, it kind of wants to pull other areas. So if you don't get it really thin, it's almost like when you're painting like with, with, a, with like a chalk paint or an acrylic paint or anything, you know, when you when you paint on top of paint, if the area is not really dry, it kind of wants to pull the paint off, if that makes sense. So you just, I would say, just be careful. I always tried to make sure that I had enough of this on my brush. And then I always tried to do as thin of a layer as I could, but that I would still get coverage on the cup. Now, after I get a coat on, I do let it dry for about four hours. I don't know what the actual like appropriate drying time is. I just wanted to make sure once I touched the cup that there was no tackiness to it, that it had dried fairly well before I went on and applied another coat. Okay, y'all can see I've let this dry and I'm gonna go back in with my second coat here. And you can see there's some areas that kind of have like a little beige tint to it. This product is like a light brown beige color. And so it kind of has a weird little texture to it once you get it on the cup. It does dry, you can see it dries like a clearer color, but as you start to layer uh, coats onto this, it does get a little bit thicker and it does kind of carry that, that color to it. 
And I wasn't really sure if this was the way it was supposed to go or not. So I just kept going with it. Um, again, I tried to do as thin of a coat as I could. You will see that it kind of, it's not like a gummy texture, y'all. It's more of, but it does kind of look like that where it wants to pull in certain areas. And so I just kind of went with it. I thought, well, as it dries, you know, that, that color that's there that you can see will probably lighten up a little bit. And it did, but as you layer another coat on top of it, this does kind of become the color that it becomes. And then as you touch it, that's where you get this different color consistency. So, um, I just kind of went with it as you layer it on know that as you're brushing it on i think maybe because of using a brush and not an airbrush that the consistency is probably a little bit thicker and that's why it kind of wants to pull and pull up in a little certain areas um but anyway i just went with it and you'll see the final product and then after I did this coat, I did let this dry. I did another coat. I let that dry. I did another coat. And then I actually did end up applying some foils. I used Lolly from Southern Belle Glitter. And I just put it in some places where I thought that the liquid crystal had kind of clumped up and I didn't really like the way it looked. I just added some color in there. And then I'm going in with one of my Dixie Darlings Rub On Transfers, also from Southern Belle Glitter. I'm just going to apply that right over it. So I have not done a layer of epoxy yet. I've just applied the four layers of liquid crystal, a little bit of foils here and there and then the rub on transfer and now I'm going to go in with a layer of epoxy so this is my first and only layer of epoxy and I didn't know how thick of a coat I could use and still have the thermochromic effects so I did about 15 milliliters and I'm using countercultures medium viscosity artist resin I'm going to apply this coat and then I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles and that's where you start seeing this change in color so while it has this very odd tint or it did to me at this time once you start changing the colors you'll actually see the color of the cup change and now it's more of just a black and then once you apply heat or cold it kind of gets the greens and the blues and all the different colors and the colors and it's really pretty so i encourage y'all i was so excited to try this i encourage y'all to try it um it was so fun it was such a different little design um and it is available on pdb creative studios website it was in there one of their artist box um boxes that i got from them but they do have it available on their website now so if y'all get a chance to try it out definitely try it it was so fun um and i hope this was helpful for y'all um I hope that y'all like the design that I came up with using it. And if you have any tips or anything fun to do with it, please like comment up below. Um, and I will link all the products that I use in the description box below. So make sure you check those out. As well as hop over and join my Dixie Darlings Tumblr's Facebook group. We work on fun things like this all the time. So I encourage y'all to join me over there. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon. Mm -hmm.